how to make a mini vortex cannon. Which has a diaphragm right here and a small hole where the actual, where the vortex comes out of. And it's not like really hard to do, it's really simple. And what you'll need is a knife with the scissors or a knife and scissors. I'm gonna use my Swiss Army knife. You need that. A balloon. It has to be a big one, however um big your uh, the diaphragm you want. If you're making a really small one like out of a a film canister then you're gonna want to use a smaller balloon but for this one you're gonna need this some tape any kind. I'm gonna use this Dollar General clear tape and a cylinder cone type shape I'm going to use this kind of cup. First, what we want to do is cut the balloon into the size you want. Takes a little while. But you have to be patient so you don't mess up and make it all weird. And if you've seen that other video of how to make it with a, or not how to, but one made with a cup, like a McDonald's cup, don't do that because it's too long and it barely produces any air or any vortex. So I'm going to take this piece right here and first get a little piece of tape it's about a centimeter long and tape it to one side just so you have hold on the entire thing and you're going to want to stretch it out like a drum sort of Wait. But you have to make sure that there's no, nothing looks like this, sort of, where you can see the lip. It has to be covering the entire thing, not really taut, but nice and taut. And you're also, um, like I said, just don't leave any areas like that. Make sure it pretty much all looks like this. Feel free to pause this anytime you want just to look at how it how it is. Let's see. Uh okay. I have it all sealed up on each ed on every 
part of it. And it's just, it's always good just to have like a little bit of wrinkle so you can grab it and pull back. So now you're going to make the hole. And um, if you don't have this kind of knife, then you can just use a small knife or a really sharp one and just poke a hole. Like that. And then take a scissors and cut about the size of a nickel. If you want to be precise, then you can take on a nickel and draw the um, trace around the nickel. But that's if you want to be like really precise. There. Now it should look like this. Now, pull it back, and it should shoot a little vortex. You can see it moving my hair. But, yeah, I have yet to shoot it at a fly. I don't know what's going to happen if a fly encounters something like that, but I want to find out. Just grab that, pinch it, pull, and let go. And that's how to make a mini vortex cannon.